what up it's your boy the incredible man and yes i'm back at it again and as you can tell i'm not home but it is like a cloudy but very nice and calm and beautiful day man and it's a perfect time to discuss black clover episode 99 which was absolutely fantastic man um let's get it it picked up right after um a couple a couple of episodes ago because we jumped right back to Asta, Melirona and uh, Zora fighting uh, Raya and the others. So I, I want to say it's maybe like three episodes ago, two episodes ago, somewhere around in there. And um, yeah, so this was perfect from the manga, man. It was to me, it was actually uh, page for page, man, because it was absolutely fantastic where she came in and was just molly wiping everybody, man. But before that, she um she kicked Zora and Asta out to save them because she knew she could handle herself to a certain extent. She knew she like couldn't just like fully defeat them, but she knew she could stop them enough to let Asta and Zora get away. But man it was so fantastic man she went straight ham man i love seeing Melora on a fight and i wish she would stay the captain well maybe not because uh Fuegulon is back but uh i i i love i love to see more of Melorona after this whole arc is over man and um because she she went straight beast mode man she was throwing out moves like it was nobody's business they were throwing all these little amateur moves and like 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 trying to stop her and hit her it, it it done stuff and it stopped her slowed her momentum down a little bit but other than that man it done nothing man man Melorona was putting in work this was Melorona's episode hands down she done some other stuff in other episodes that was actually good and fantastic but this episode was her episode man she went straight beast mode on Raya and the others and um we got to see her fully extend mana zone uh when she done it and she was like uh, Cause the snow chick uh, kind of uh, used some powers in um, the whole room to kind of dull uh, Melirona's senses, so she couldn't really react to everything super fast and everything. So some of the attacks actually hit her, like um, real stone magic. Um, the other dude, sandstone magic, and um, some of Raya's attacks, like when she was getting ready to kill the other stone dude. So it was absolutely fantastic, man. And she extended Mana Zone and erased all of the snow girl's effects. And it just was so, and the colors, the colors in this episode, the animation was on point yet again. Like I say, these last, like these last couple episodes, like leading up and everything with this whole arc right here, all of the animation was on point and absolutely fantastic, man. So there's nothing you can take away from Black Clover with the animation on that point, man. But then we get to see Mana Zone fully extended. And it was like, how does she have this much power left? She's been fighting us this whole time. And before I continue, because it, it got it got super fantastic. Um, then we see, uh, we pan out and we see Asta and Zora trying to come up with a plan to uh save Melorona but uh we also see Zora telling Asta she sacrificed herself so we could get away and hopefully some others can get away and come back to try to fight again and Asta wasn't having it man but Zora made some valid points man well he didn't really want to be saved by the royal anyway but what I love about that is that towards the end of this episode Zora's whole perspective pretty much changed about Melly Rona. So, and I love that, man. I love that. Zora's a great character, and I can't wait to see him flushed out more. Um, what else? Oh, they was coming up with a plan, and then we pan back to Melly Rona, and we see exactly what I'm talking about, where she released the full force of the Mana Zone, man, and it was Chaos Brachium Purgatory, I want to say. That's what it was. But can we get this chick a trophy, an award, a medal, or something because she deserves everything she got, man, because she was straight beast on these elves, man. Um, so then after that happens and like they unleashed their big attack, well she at least unleashed her big attack on them and it it took them down a little bit, but like they weren't defeated. And then in that moment, we saw Zora's ash magic, ash magic come through the wall, and we saw Asta and Zora come in to try to save Melly Rona, man, which was absolutely fantastic. And I love seeing that because that shows character progression for Zora. Because you know he hated the Royals, but for him, 
for him to go back and do that was absolutely fantastic and i love that um then we get to the moment that to me was the epitome of taking everything out of the manga and just putting it in animation with colors and everything <clears throat> excuse me and that is when uh raya and the others used their combination magic and they launched it at zora and then they showed zora and asta coming up with the plan to where they were saying that asta was like well they're going to use combination magic that's exactly what it is i know they're going to do it and um they done combination magic and they were coming up with a plan it was like once they do that you take it in and then double it back and he was like okay but that's not going to be strong enough to do that and he was like i got a plan and then they show it and it was to me, it was page for page, exactly out of the manga, man, because that's when we saw Asta take it, and he hit it like a baseball, straight back at Zora, and then it comes in, and Zora's like, well, I made the circle. No, they done it like two or three times. So, so they done it like two or three times. No, three times, three times. Okay, so he hit it, Zora, uh, Zora, uh, absorbed it, hit it at Asta, Asta hit it back, and Zora absorbed it again, and then, like the, the the circle started to crack and uh, fall apart because he had to rush and make it. But then Asta was like, don't worry, I got it. And he hit it towards Raya and the others in the full explosion, man. But can I, again, can I, can I tell you how wonderful the colors and the animation and everything was in this episode, man? Like the close-ups of uh, Melirona's face, Zora's face, Raya's face, um, Asta's face, and then the colors that was happening when they used their magic and everything it was absolutely fantastic and that's what i love about black clover man and i'm that's why i'm super excited about this arc because it's only going to get better from here and then we had when then we have the moment where the attack launches and it goes off and they try to escape and i love the fact that asta was like yeah man we got it we got we got it we done it we done it and so was like well yeah we got lucky it was it was a bunch of coincidences that led us to have this moment and that's when raya pops up man and uses his like uh, black hole transportation type magic. What? No, no, that's the uh, other dude's uh, transportation magic. And um, he grabs Asta, and Asta tells him that don't worry about it, Zora. Gives him a thumb up and everything. And you take Melirona and escape, and I'll find a way to come back with you guys, man. And I love the fact that Zora was like, hey, that wasn't the plan, and that's not what we was. That's that's not what we agreed on. And he was like. And I loved seeing that from Zora for character development. And it was absolutely fantastic, man. And then we pan and we see, what, do, what else did we see? We saw, um, we saw people escape the uh, hideout, which was Zora and Melirona, um, Noel and um, Mimosa's brother, and it was Nozel and the uh, mushroom guy from the, uh, the arc, the, uh, Night, the Magic Knights arc. So then we pan back and we see <sighs> Mimosa being attacked, man, by members of her own squad. But they're not they're not who she think they are anymore, man. They took over Klaus and as Asta would say, the chubby guy from the Golden Dawn. And then we see they, they like they were attacking Mimosa, man, like really attacking her. And then we see um Raya drop Asta off in the room. And then Asta's like, Oh, look, the chubby guy from the Golden Dawn. And then um he notices Yuno being possessed as well, man. And in that moment, Asta kind of lost his stuff, man. He was like, Yuno! So, dude, next week's going to be Beast, man. And I'm telling you, this arc is only going to get better and better and better if you're an uh, anime-only watcher. So, stay tuned, man. But this is your boy, Dick Incredible. And that's pretty much all that happened this episode. This is your boy, Dick Incredible, man. Don't forget to smash that like button until you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them. And subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, man. Peace out.